I made a promise that I will attempt to fulfill for you uh, teachers of God who are going out into the world using the mind training of A Course in Miracles and are, are beginning to experience uh, factors of healing, miracle healing, within the arrangement of your individual dedication to assume the role of a, a miracle healer. And the responses uh, with the new satellite have been tremendous. And our Course in Miracles International is now being spread in many languages around the world, and more and more of you are assuming the title of teachers of God. The lesson that I learned through my Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the author of The Course in Miracles, was that the responsibility for healing was mine to make, since the responsibility for the disease of my association with my apparent friends and enemies was a part of the conjecture of my mind concerning my self-identity. In the process of the mind training, okay, as practiced in this world, we have learned that continuously with us is another self, another determination of who we are that will be evident to us if we allow it to be so that the practice being employed by you right there as a teacher, and that's why you accepted this assignment, didn't it? Say, well, shall we practice for a minute? Say to me, I accepted the assignment, mission, okay, to teach the process of miracle healing through the power of my mind. That's probably too long a sentence for you to say, but just say, I use the power of my mind through love and forgiveness to heal those who are around me. Practice. I see you now as whole and perfect in the pertainment of our recognition of each other as separate bodies. Teachers, and there's a lot of you watching this at this time. Let's turn and look at each other just for a minute. Watch this. There you are. Now, what occurred at that moment? I saw a perspective of you through the change of my mind. Teacher, now, that was an experience of your healing that henceforth, from this moment, those of you who are new to the idea of this Course in Miracles will carry with you in the aspects and the intervals of the space-time location in which you find yourself. You'll notice that the title I have been given is a Master Teacher of A Course in Miracles. All of you actually have mastered a very fundamental idea of self-responsibility, which is going to make your capacity to heal the sick and raise the dead much more evident to you in a single instant of correspondence. You listening to me, teacher of God? The totality of healing is nothing but a moment, are you ready, of communication. Deep within you, you have been looking for a method of communicating with those who appear to be around you. And you have been sorely disappointed on a continuing basis with the simple admission that the occupancy of your body within space-time has denied you access somewhere to, entire, to an entire moment of correspondence 
which is what miracle healing is. So through the practice of the mind training of A Course in Miracles, and I'm employing it with you now, you are in a condition of a, say to me, I've discovered myself. Have you discovered yourself? Well, my qualifications in what you term a master teacher is nothing but a newfound capacity within my own mind to recognize who I am in my relationship with the universe and the application of that power all right, at the direction of my Savior, Jesus Christ, who said to me very, very emphatically in his New Testament that the evidences of my success in healing myself in relationship with the universe through his attention of my innate capacity to perform acts of healing will be the forgiveness of my enemy or the forgiveness of the images that are presenting me with the obstacles of conflict that constitute my sickness. So our lesson for today, and this is particularly directed to the thousands of you now, who are beginning to describe to me miraculous occurrences of healing. And what you've discovered in your comparisons is some of you use words, some of you use demonstrations, some of you lay on hands, some of you take uh, positions of energy of association, some of you recommend nostrums or energy uh, or faculties of vitamin pills. I have no concern at all about the manner in which you heal, because you, in correspondence with this teaching, have made a fundamental idea, a position of a mission to fulfill an obligation of offering love and forgiveness through the charity of sharing of our, uh, the idea of the action of the giving our mind which will heal the sick and raise the dead. Three minutes with the acknowledgement of responsibility that we always perform when we begin to teach these lessons. And it's the idea of your acceptance of your fundamental power. Listen. So here it is, the responsibility for sight. This is the only thing that you need do for vision happiness, release from pain, and the complete escape from sin, all to be given you, you say only this, but you mean it with no reservations. Why? This is the power of salvation. I am responsible for what I see. I choose the feelings I experience, and I decide upon the goal I would achieve, and everything that seems to happen to me, I ask for and I receive as I have asked. Deceive yourself no longer that you are helpless in the face of what is done to you. Acknowledge but that you have been mistaken and all the effects of your mistakes will disappear. It is impossible the Son of God is merely driven by events outside of Him. It is impossible that happenings that come to Him were not His choice, His power of decision is the determiner of every situation in which he seems to find himself by chance or accident. Are you listening? No accident nor chance is possible within the universe as God created it, outside of which is nothing. Suffer and you've decided sin was your goal. Be happy and you gave the power of decision to him who must decide for God for you.